Yo, it's your boy Felipe. Hey, Mickey Solo. P I F. Paid in full. Yeah, yeah. Stay hooked on to New Bay Live. Hi, what's up, people? This is Angie, the Royal Highness, and you're listening to New Bay Live. Hey, yo, yo, you're now listening to Hip Hop Uganda Live. It's your boy, truly, Sean. Home for Ugandan hip hop, hosted by yours truly, Sean. Hey, yo, what's up? It's your boy Anonymous, G2 Complex, most official, and you're listening to Hip Hop Uganda on Nouvelle Life. Just right here, just right here. Get it, get it, get it. Yo, it's your boy Brown Wade, Christian Rapper, and my music plays a new bit like show. The only show that plays hip hop from again. Don't go away, what you rappers do. Good comments look straight away. I'm doing what the hackers do. Still got time to kill a track or two. If it fits, you've established the fact that that's your shoe. Most You're now listening now to listen another to episode of the New Velive Podcast for Hip Hop Uganda Live, the live hosted by Sean. By Sean. By Sean. Boy, pound for pound, that is how we take the crown, boy. Ain't nobody real that's making it, they faking it. Throne name vacant, but they think of overtaking it. You can change an alias, but you ain't top ten if you make a list. Oh, welcome to the New Velive Podcast, Hip Hop Uganda Live, and I'm Sean, your host. Uh, this is episode 4, the new one of our weekly podcast. You can catch this and more every Tuesday. And uh, today on the show, I have a special guest, uh, Mr. Shemi B. Uh, before I tell you that, uh, this this is a recollection from last week. I promised to speak about uh, beef since it was a trending thing going on. Tucker versus uh, Timothy Cord. And Benny Black in the mix But anyway, I would like to postpone that a, a little bit And uh, focus more energy and light on uh, Shemi B What's up Shemi, Shemi B? Yeah, I mean, what's up? Uh, what's good boss? What's good? Music uh, You've been working? Yeah, yeah I've been working You put out your album last year? Yeah, on 28th August uh, So, um, so uh, so who's Shemi B anyway? Yeah, who's to, to a person who who doesn't know you, those who listen to our podcast, who's Shemi B? Who is Shemi B? Uh, Shemi B is me. Shemi B is a rapper from Motungo Bina. He does hip hop, Luga Flow, the man with the street identity. Uh, talking about street identity, that's his album. So, uh, could you? Like narrow down what uh, street identity is, the inspiration behind it. Inspiration behind it, nothing but the truth. I'm from the streets, and street identity is my first album, first studio album. Uh, 17 tracks on it so far. Uh, like I've just told you, I released that album on the 28th of August 2015. Album straight out at Portville Drive. Yeah, that's what's up. Uh, so. Like every track is worked on by Nays Avatar at Port Bell Drive? Or? Yeah, Nays Avatar, uh, Owls Analytical, then Mio Med, still Port Bell Drive. Okay, so uh, like I, I wanted you to sort of narrow down the inspiration, the real deep inspiration of the whole album. Of the, as in of the whole album? Yeah. At least, as in each and every song on the album, I was inspired by different things to do each and every song, each and every song on that album. So, as in the whole album, as the album, 
I can't talk about it. Unless when you tell me which song do you want me to talk about? So, yeah. pro- probably we can have a listening party in time to come. Mm. So uh, my favorite track of that uh, album actually is Mukaga Boka. Mukaga Boka, yeah. And is it uh, Semwandu? Yeah, Semwandu. Uh, maybe you can talk about those two. Those two. Now, Mukaga Boka, um, Nays made me a beat with Mio and I was like, man, on this one I need all my guys to come and feature on this. So he was like, yeah, call them up. Uh, if I saw like that, uh, Bone Stars, then Spider MC, Big Vein, the chick, um, Big Sam. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we did it. We did something. I came up with the hook. Spider MC came up with, I buy. Spider MC backed up that hook. Then the other guys also came, this guy with his verse. Yeah, and we nailed it. So, uh, you ever lost a girl? A girl? Yeah. As you, are you a married you, man? Are you a married person? <laughs> no, I'm not married. I'm single. So, uh, what's, I'm what's, what's the uh, idea behind someone do? Because I understand that that is what it means. No, it's just a song. Me, you know me. I, I'm a songwriter, and that anyway, Nes gave me that beat. So, as in, you know, when sometimes when Nes makes for me beats, it tells me, uh, as in, which title should we give this beat? So I just told him, you name it Semwandu. Then I had to write a story, as in a story fitting. That's the, the, the theme beat, as in the, the beat. Huh. The beat was a sad beat. So I had to write this, a, a sad story uh, on that beat. And that was the story. The story of a guy who lost his chick. What? So I was Semwandu on that beat. Yeah, yeah. Surely. So you based it on experiences that you've seen, not like you really you going through it huh? uh-uh. okay so you've had your album release isn't it yeah. like a party as in of recent you know like in the, last year you yeah. had the release and yeah the party the was release on. and the party was on and it was bloody so this year you you followed it up with a date that is seemingly almost like that of august 28th but you I heard you were happening on 27th, 27th Jan. Jan. What was up? Yo, that was a street identity extra party. You know, it's been four months since I released my album. So I, there are a lot of people who never made it to the real what, uh, releasing the event. date, the, the real event. So now they were like, Shemi, we never saw you performing most of your songs. What, what's up? Then uh, I told them, I promised them uh, a month back that I'll, I'll put up a, an extra party for those who missed the real event okay. so that you can come and watch me performing all my jams with my boys and it happened last Wednesday on 27th yeah, we heard it was bloody how was the turn up? man, the turn up the truth is it was even better than the real event which I happened to miss yeah. reasons best known to me anyway uh, so, Shemi B, after that, what plan anyway? What plan? As in, after, plan? After, after street identity, after which other identity. plan is there? Uh, so far, with the street identity album, we are still selling copies. Because right now, we've sold like uh, 132 copies. Wow. And uh, next month, uh, I'll be shooting my first, as in my second video. This video of a Bilango song with Ali Kaliba featuring Ali Kaliba. Okay. Yeah. So that's the next plan. Street identity. Now it's a brand of its own, isn't it? Yeah. I was looking at your TL and uh, I saw the number of jumpers, t shirts as well. Yeah, jumpers are out as in merchandise. Um, so far, people are buying jumpers. I'm selling them at um, 25 each. The jumpers. The jumpers. Then uh, street identity t shirts at 15k each. Okay. Yeah. And they look nice in all the colors. And uh, h- how much does uh, the album itself go for? Yo, the album itself, um, as in in the first week, it was at 10k. In the first week of the release. The first week of the releasing. But after a month, 
switch to 15k why why so you, was it due to popular demand or something you already know <laughs> now, so you I you go. you better come for your copy man before uh, before it switches to for it's 20k to 20 yeah so you better come for your copy so far, I haven't seen you guy buying a copy. Oh, me, I'm an industry guy. They always holler at me. But yeah, we mm. can uh, we can always talk about that. So, Shemi B, yeah. like I I told you, I like I told the people in the beginning, uh, beef was trending last week. Mm-hmm. Cord was at it. Tucker was at it. Mm-hmm. And Benny Black actually gave us. Something more of knowledge, more uh, more than a diss track. Mm-hmm. Whose side are you on? As in, all Ooh. I know, all I know, hip hop is all about the elements we all know. Okay. So beef is not an element of hip hop. Damn, this boy got knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> so I believe in music. Okay. Let them let them record. Let them put out albums. For us, we shall judge that this guy is better than the other. Lyrically. They should stop beefing and do music. Hip-hop, they say hip-hop is dead because people who does hip-hop, as in even the hip-hop lovers, I see guys, a lot of guys post about beef, what. I've never seen any guy, uh, as in, talking about those guys' music, but they talk about the beef. Are they their fans or what haters? Uh, Tell me something. They could be culture vultures. I, uh, in, I'm sure people don't love hip hop. That's why they talk about beef instead of talking about music. That guy Taka HD has music. They don't talk about his music. But when he came up with a diss track, that's what they like. Those are hip hop haters. Those are the guys who kill hip hop. Some, some. The guys who support the beef are the guys who kill hip hop. <laughs> Some some people believe uh, competition is healthy. Maybe mm-hmm. if we term beef as competition, it would sound better because the other guy is saying, you are better than you. The other guy is saying, no, my, my watch costs more than your shoe, that kind of stuff. Maybe it, it do make sense if... They is it all back. about the watch, that no, watch? I, I, or I, I, I've given you like uh, uh, something of an example mm-hmm. that I can use. Because the other person is saying lyrically, I'm um, this good, this and that. At the end of the day, maybe we have to focus on the creative common, commons that we can follow. I think one track is not enough. As in, two of them should come up, each one of, as in, each one of them should record an album and we see whose album is better. Yeah, okay. How about that? Uh, that sounds <laughs> hectic and dope anyway. Mm-hmm. You ever beefed anyone? Come on. Me, myself, I'm beef. <laughs> <laughs> I, I eat beef for breakfast. Okay. So if you want beef, just go and buy beef and eat beef. And that is the street identity That's the album. with the street identity. Uh, many artists, young artists, actually, do not have albums. Like very many young artists yeah. out there, they are somehow it would be mean to label them as mixtape uh, artists. How was it easy for you to do an album? How long did you work it out, anyway? Um, uh, so far, it wasn't easy at all. Um, which year is this? Uh, boss, it's 2016. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, I recorded my first track uh, of this album uh, in 2011. Wow, that is like when I first mimed a lyrical G song and I wanted to redo my my, my version of it. Okay, uh-huh. so now you can tell how long it has taken for me to put up this thing together. That's about uh, five years. Yeah, something like that. Four years, as in five, four years plus. Uh, and so far, my second album will be out uh, in 2017. I will let you know the date. Because, man, I was planning, as in, not to put up an, any album. I was planning, my, that, uh, as in, Street Identity to be my last album. But people kept on calling me, inboxing me, like, yo, Shemi, we need more flavor. And I decided to come up with something else after two years. You, that would be you, you guy. <laughs> 17. Why, why, why would it be your last album anyway? My last... Yeah, you uh, had your feel of... Uh, as in, um, 15 rap songs on it. I think 15 rap songs are enough for my fans. 
I, I doubt you. Anyway, a, lo- a lot of legendaries down there have more, less than seven jams, but we still appreciate them. As in, we still recognize them. Yeah, because it isn't bubblegum music, and um, mm. I, I believe your album is relatable with the street and all that. Mm. So, that's what's up. I'm uh, so far in 2017. I'll be coming up with another album titled. I will let you know the title. I thought it was titled. I will let you know the title. No, 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 no. I will let you know that, the that title. That would sound cool. Let's do a mixtape and name it. I will let you know the title. I will let you know the title. <laughs> uh, so, any? Uh, let me, let me, let me try to. Anyone. Any inspirations that you've had in your yes. career? My career, as in, what do you mean? Like people who have influenced you? Who have influenced me? Um, so who, far, so far, each hip hop jam I listen to and it's nice, it inspires me. That's it. Oh, oh really? You didn't grow up on some Tupac? Tupac, Rakiv, Easy E. Maybe Big L. I know you're a big fan of Big L, and I was waiting for you to miss him out. <laughs> but that guy was my man, and he's still my man, though he's dead. I won't say R.I.P., but I still feel his music. I also feel Easy E's style, but not his music. Okay. Yeah. Um, then uh, three more questions probably mm. uh, are you going to be at the hip hop for society ninth that uh, ninth annual hip hop for society event so far um, so far I was supposed to go there to support my brothers but again I was told that I have to perform early at the explosion at an explosion okay. so I have to go there early so I won't make it to the hip hop for the society Oh, you're a busy guy. Hmm? You're a busy guy. Man, where is the money? <laughs> the money. <laughs> As in, I, I use my money and invest it in my hustle. Okay, mm. cool stuff. Uh, speaking mm. of hustles, last week I spoke of uh, uh, why, ra- why rappers need side jobs, and I guess you should have been the right guy to, to, ask, to, to give them tips. How, how do you make it with your side hustles and to keep the music going? As in, uh, the money I get from my side hustles is the very money I invest in music and keep that album moving. That's why it has reached so far everywhere. How far has it reached anyway? So far, as in, in copies, guys from uh, Mukono, they have bought copies, guys from Jinja, they have bought copies, guys from Luero and in, in Tebe, then different hoods of Kampala, of course. Chireka too. Chireka too, man. By the way, the people of Chireka supported me so much because they bought copies, as you know each copy of uh, my album is at uh, 15. 15. Yeah. But guys from Chireka was, were buying it at 50, uh, 100, Whoa. each guy. Whoa. Yeah, on, as in on that particular. Yeah. Okay. That's how guys were buying it. So I love guys. The guys of Kireka, they showed me love. They supported me. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank the rappers, the MCs that came around, that showed me love. Uh, Price Terror, that guy from Tinder, that guy, Mr. Side Zeno and his crew, Habo, the NTM guys, uh, Nampela Molekwa, Abinganda Clan. Big Sam MC, his album is coming soon. That guy also showed me love, he supported me. Um, 207, all the way from uh, Luero, criminal case. That guy supported me, he showed me love, he came around, he performed. Um, a lot of guys, man. Babaluku, Jaja, that guy, man. <laughs> he showed so it's, me love. It's, it's, so, r- it's right to say uh, uh, that, uh, that what? rap is paying off, isn't it? Mm, Somehow, yeah. Let me say, up. hard work pays. If you if you work hard, you get paid across if any you, genre. Eh? Yeah, if you if you sleep on your talent, you dead and gone. You get buried. That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> it. <laughs> get buried, is it? Yeah, that is it. Uh, so I I had uh, the big artist who got your album and appreciated it. You yeah, could yeah, never yeah, feel that. Yeah. Uh, you know, not a lot of rappers bought my album, but I, as in, I remember the main man, Sylvester Kabombo. That guy, <laughs> that guy bought a copy of my album. Okay. Um, if, if I'm not mistaken, it was the first rapper, Sylvester, to buy a copy of the Sweet Identity album. Price Taver bought a copy. Um, 
207 himself bought a copy of my album Zulu MC you know that fat MC yeah I do know K Zulu yeah K Zulu that guy fought it uh, he bought a copy you know he, I've just said he fought because he's, he's my favorite battle rapper you should also know that um, Painkiller the, uh, the 16, 2, 5, 16. The 16, 16 guy <laughs> bought a copy yeah. uh, which other rappers uh, my those okay yeah. cool cool stuff yeah. speaking of battles used to be a uh, but a hip-hop battle host no as in yeah. okay a hip-hop battle host yeah, yeah. by the way uh, and the, next a month battle MC as well next month on um uh, on the second friday of feb okay there is two five six buzz rapper what is it two five six buzz battle league Okay. Tournament going on on that day, I'll, I'll still I'll host it. I'll host that battle of Zulu MC. Not yeah, is it Zulu? Not Zulu. A guy from Gulu called Black MC. Black will be battling my hometown rapper, a Mutungo Bina rapper named Mafioso X Black. Mafioso X yeah, Black. Yeah, yeah. I remember him. So they will be battling on that day, and I'll be the host okay. with Chernobyl. How, how how was it slaying uh, Jay Santino? <laughs> Jay Santino, man, it was so easy for me because that ki- by the way, that kid is good, okay. but he can't handle me, you know. <laughs> he could, he could I end, just remember he could, the line. He I, couldn't I, throw those hard punch can, lines. Can you remember any line that you spot, especially where you used uh, fussy? Fussy? <laughs> as, in, as, as your point of reference. In, um, like, like he's... Uh, is, uh, let me hold forget on, hold that on. line. I forget it. Uh, uh, is it uh, his? Is it his career is very small, like hearty tone? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that will be a matter for the next such discussion. So, uh, shall we be? Uh, yeah. We've reached almost the end of the show. Mm. Uh, any final remarks that you do have for yeah. your fans and where they can get you and your they music? Be, uh, as in. Shemi B. Hassan, that's my uh, my Facebook account. Okay. Then Shemi B. on Reverb Nation, that's where they can get my music, Reverb Nation. Shemi B. Reverb Nation, MySpace, um, YouTube, anywhere. Just type in Shemi B. S H E M Y space B. Shemi B. That's how you can get my music. Just type in Shemi B. Then you'll be getting my music. I right, call cool. um, if if you've gotten uh, this episode, you can also, also check the links mm. on the post itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it is more productive as well. So, Shemi B, yo, any favorite song on the album that you do like? As you know, my on the street identity album. album. By the way, when I recorded Natambula, because Natambula is the first song on my album, when I recorded Natambula, everyone was like, man, Shemi. This jam is the best, and I also feel it. I was like, Yeah, it's the best. Then, when I recorded, uh, I win it. People again were like, Hey, man, again, this one is the best. I was also like, You know, uh, was my fans tell me that this song is the best, what they tell me is what I go with. When I recorded David Ango, everyone was like, Man, this one again is better than the first one. Now, each song they tell me is, the, is their favorite. Then it's my favorite too. I like Ching Malo as well. Ching Malo, you I know you like Ching Malo because <laughs> you're from that. And I side, understand eh? the message. I understand, <laughs> and you understand the, message. the message. Yeah. So uh, by the way, it's it's, uh, it's about understanding the message most times. Actually, in people from Northern U- Uganda they like Ching Malo, and people from Eastern Uganda they like Mokaga Boka. Uh, <laughs> that chick, uh, Big Pain. Okay. She featured on the jam. She came up with the Oluma Saba. Sure. So, and the people from the central, they like the Mandu. <laughs> <laughs> they like the Mandu, they like Ebidango, they like Natambula. Okay. And by the way, chicks like Natambula so much. Okay, it's uh, still Sean, your host, Hip Hop Uganda Live, and uh, we've been hanging with Shemi B, the man with the street identity. Okay, uh, it's been Hip Hop Uganda Live and episode 4. And I've been showing your host. You can follow us on Twitter at Nuve Live or Facebook at Nuve Live. Bye. And Instagram as well, Nuve Live. I like giving up a pair. Feel 
free, man. Feel free. Check one time. Ava dresha mi bi ya tu dewa no nechali we nuve tu tande sokuba bara pogaga no muzi mu wudi lize watandi koko tuka muzi fo no mania ti chet fo mu tuli anti we chwe nte do kuwe bi sele bi singa mvaku mola mu to vola vani no mu mu boge de bi gambo bi inji nyobu tsexembo kuba kisi mu anti wa o kute ku Mike soko leke producer to ngamba mbono mi kono nete kubanga wano we tu tu de rapu zezi wunya sibo no nete yo shemi bi akokadi akumbala kuba. Tetuli na vude, kekati, we out.